Grade 8 math number 14.1b, we're going to do interpreting of clusters and outliers in scatter plots. A cluster is a set of closely grouped data. Its data may cluster around a point or along a line. And an outlier is a data point that's further away and very different from the other points in the set. So if you saw a graph like this, you could see that these are all clustered together. So these values are very close to each other. So it could be a group of kids that are all roughly the same height, and maybe there's one tall child. Or it could be a group of children who got a certain grade on a test, and then one did exceptionally well. See? So that one out here is the outlier, and that's the cluster. Well, a real estate appraiser made a graph of the home values for one city block. And he plotted the values on a coordinate plane to examine the data to compare square footage to price for the houses. And this is what he came up with. So here's 1,000 square feet, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000. So that would be a very, very big house, wouldn't it? 4,000 square feet. Most houses are between 1 and 2,000 square feet. And here's the prices. 100,000, 200,000, 300,000, 400,000. Now that's in dollars, so that'd be a $100,000 house, a $200,000 house, and see how I have a K here? You're going to see that a lot. Adults use the K because it's an abbreviation to represent thousand. So somebody might say, I just got a job for 50K. That means they got a job for 50,000 a year. The K stands for the thousands, see? And by looking at this, we can see that most of the houses have between 1,000 and 2,000 square feet, and they're around 100,000 to just under at $200,000 for the house. And then we can look over here and here's 300 and 400, so that right in the middle would be 350. This house has 300 is $350,000 and it's got 3,000 square feet. See that? So we can look at this graph and see that most of the homes are about the same size and price on this city block except one big expensive house. So it's probably a mansion or something, right? And with this scatter plot, we can imagine what the houses might look like on that city block. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine houses that are pretty close to the same size. They vary a little bit in size. And then there's this one big, huge mansion. See? That's the outlier. That's the one that's sticking out like a sore thumb. All right? So scatter plots are called also, they're also called scatter diagrams. And they're a graph of ordered pairs of data. The data is plotted as points and scattered around the coordinate grid. So these are just scattered on here as a scatter plot. See that? And this would be the X values, the price of the homes. So 100,000 and 1,000 square feet would be, the 100,000 would be the X value and the 1,000 square feet would be the Y value. See that? Now who uses these scatter plots? What's the big deal? Well, check out how much they make each year. An economist, what they do is they analyze what happens with prices, employment, inflation, and stuff like that in our economy. Why did the house prices go up? Why did they drop down? And they make about a hundred to $115,000 a year in the year 2015. That's a pretty good job. An operations research analyst, they interpret large amounts of data to help the government or corporations solve problems with their businesses. And they make about 43000 to 77000 a year in the year 2015. A management analyst, those are management consultants, and they can either work for a company or have their own com management consultant company. And they advise, they advise governments, corporations, nonprofit organizations, you know, like churches and stuff like that, to help them boost their profits. And they can make anywhere from 45000 a year to 150000 a year if they're really good. And there's market research analysts. They conduct consumer surveys and focus groups, and they collect and analyze data for prices, products, and they can compare past sales to predict future ones. If last October you sold 200 widgets, then there's a very good chance you're going to sell about 200 this October, right? If a haunted house had 4,000 people come through there last year, they can estimate about 4,000 might come through this year, unless they did something to increase the people coming through. And market research analysts make 34000 to about 117000 in the year 2015. It's like on the 
uh, show, Family Feud, if you've ever seen that on TV, they always say 100 people were surveyed and they were asked this question and then they show on, you know, the game board how many out of the 100 answered it that particular way. Well, some market research analysts had to go out and speak to those 100 people and ask them the question and collect the data. See? So, that is interpreting clusters and outliers. That's scattered plots. And we're going to move on to the next video, 14.1c. And we're going to talk about determining association and what association means. It's how the, the data is related to each other. Okay? Sorry, my camera's shaking. My, my arm's been hurting. All right? So keep your chin up. You're going to be okay. And let's go find out about association. All right? Bye.